So it says, let A be the area of a square whose side length has, uh, has a length of x. Assume x varies with time. How fast is, is the area increasing at the time the side length of x is 3 foot and the side length is growing at a rate of, and the side length is growing at a rate of 2 feet per minute? So there's a couple things we need to understand, at least um, when I'm looking at this. One thing is I want to see what is changing and what is like our rates. And then also what is going to be our kind of constant, or at least where we start at. So they're talking about the increasing at the side length of where x is equal to 3. So first of all, let's just write an equation. To represent the area, we have a equals x squared. Would everybody agree with that assessment? They're talking about a square. They're talking about area. We can use that um, as area. Now, we know that they are looking for um, one thing that they ask is, how fast is the area increasing? So we're looking at the rate of change that the area is increasing. So we know that we're going to need to uh, differentiate um, how fast is the injury at the time. So we're, we know that we're looking for it increasing with respect to time. So therefore, I'm going to do um, differentiate the formula with respect to time. So I get dA over dt equals 2x dx over dt. Now again, let's systemize again, understand what all this information represents. DAT, DA dt is basically saying the, cha the um, change, the rate of change of the area with respect to time. Correct? x represents the side lengths. And again, I'm just going back to here. x represents the side lengths of the square. And dx dt represents the rate of change of the side lengths with respect to t. Everybody follows? So we have a rate of change of the area, we have the side length, and we have the rate of change of, of the side lengths with respect to t. So now let's go and looking for the information that we have. Um, it says, assume x varies with time. How fast is the area increasing? Um, the time at the side length where x, where x is 3 foot. So we know that. So we're looking for the change in dA over dt. And we know that x, they're looking for that change at when the side length is 3. And at the side length um, is a growing at a rate of 2 feet per minute. So uh, did I write in 2 feet? 3 feet, and then this is 2 feet per minute. So the dx dt is equal to, so basically I can just say x equals 3 feet. dx over dt equals 2 feet per minute. <coughs> so now I can just multiply this all out, and I get 6 feet, feet times feet is feet squared over minutes. So therefore, we can say that the, um, no, that's 6, 12. We can say that the area with respect to t with the side length increasing is changing at 12 feet squared per minute. And obviously, feet squared would make sense. It's the area. So we know that um, the area would be represented in squared.